Have you ever laid awake for hours, desperately trying to fall asleep, only to find yourself tossing and turning with thoughts and worries about tomorrow? One third of the world's population experiences sleep difficulties, and they usually last for about a few weeks. But when these sleep difficulties last longer, they can lead to a diagnosis of a sleeping disorder called insomnia. A person with insomnia is unable to fall asleep or maintain a healthy sleep pattern. This causes them to experience persistent tiredness, low energy, and difficulties with concentration, attention, and memory. Insomnia can lead to stress, anxiety, and depression. It can affect work performances and the quality of life as a whole. Various studies from around the world have shown the prevalence of insomnia in 10% to as high as 60% of the population. Insomnia is common in older adults, females, and people with poor medical and mental health. So, what causes insomnia? For starters, there are biological factors, such as changes in the circadian rhythm, which acts as our body's natural clock. The circadian rhythm controls the timing during which we feel sleepy or awake throughout the day. These circadian rhythms are sensitive to our body temperature, alertness, and exposure to light. Little or too much of these can prevent our body from releasing enough sleep-inducing hormones such as melatonin. On the other hand, there are social factors such as night work shifts or frequent international travels. These cause our body clock to become out of sync with the environment it's in. When you travel between countries that have different time zones, your body will require some time to readjust to the new daylight schedule of your destination. Excessive changes in your circadian rhythm can lead to an irregular sleep schedule which causes insomnia. And last but not least, there are psychological factors such as stress, depression, invasive thoughts, and excessive worrying. A family history of sleep disturbance can also lead to developing insomnia. So, if you've been properly assessed by a physician and are clinically diagnosed with insomnia, how do you treat it? You can try to create a daily and consistent routine by going to bed and waking up at the same time each day. Make sure your bedroom feels dark, relaxing, and comfortable. You must limit your exposure to TV screens and mobile devices before you sleep. The blue light emitted by these screens prevents the production of melatonin, the hormone that controls your sleep-wake cycle. You should also eat light meals and avoid caffeine and alcohol before bedtime. You can also make it a habit to exercise and be physically active during the day. In more severe cases, you may be prescribed sleeping medications. But even if used correctly, these medications can only provide you with help for a short period of time, as they can become harmful and addictive if used for a longer period. For persisting insomnia, symptoms, successful treatment requires cognitive behavioral therapy, also known as CBT. CBT has been found to reduce insomnia by 50%. CBT retrains people who suffer from insomnia to view the bedroom as a place of sleeping instead of a place of worrying about falling asleep. CBT can also help people improve their lifestyle, correct their sleeping environment, and learn new relaxation skills. Do you experience sleeping difficulties? Will you be able to make changes to your lifestyle for proper sleep and a better mood? Share your answer in the comment section.